So just a few hours ago, Anthropic has released a new AI model called Cloud 3.7 Sonnet. Now this is the successor of the very successful Cloud 3.7 Sonnet. And according to the announcement page, it is basically the hybrid of the regular AI model and the reasoning model. So the reasoning model is similar to DeepSeek R1 and then also OpenAI O3 Mini. They are reasoning models, but now we have an AI model that can be regular AI model, but also can be a reasoning model. And it will do it automatically based on your query. So if your question is complex, it is going to uh, enable the reasoning model. But if your question is simple, that is going to be answered by the regular AI model. I think that's a quite interesting integration. And also they release a new piece of software called Cloud Code, which is a code editor. I, I don't think this is really a code editor. It is, but it's not really like VS Code or in you know, something like GitHub Copilot. It is really almost like a chatbot, but you can uh, basically ask AI to do all the coding for you. Uh, right now, I actually uh, give it a try. I, I want to sign up, but unfortunately the sign up is full, so I cannot use it. So I guess we have to wait for the next few weeks or so until uh, the sign ups is open again. And then also we have the benchmark here. Uh, it's good at software engineering. It's good at agentic behavior. So it's going to be much more successful compared to other models. And this is the comparison between Cloud 3.7, Cloud 3.5 Sonnet, OpenAI O1, OpenAI O3 Mini, DeepSeek R1, and Grok 3 Beta, which I think these are reasoning models as far as I know. And apparently it performs really well compared to the other models. Although I think the score is not much different than uh, the likes of OpenAI and DeepSeek. So yeah, if you want to read more about it, then you can check this uh, announcement on the link right here that I'm going to put in the video description or the video comment. And basically uh, those are just some new features that we got on the Cloud 3.7 Sonnet model. Now, one thing that's very interesting is that Cloud 3.7, sorry, 3.7, 3.7 Sonnet is now available on Perplexity as well. And I have done some testing. I think it's very similar when you are using it on Perplexity and when you're using it on the official Cloud AI website. But on Perplexity, we have the benefit of using, sorry, accessing the internet. We can uh, upload content, we can upload documents, etc. So how do you use it on the Perplexity AI? Well, if you are clicking on this drop down menu, you won't see anything. There is no option for Cloud 3.7 Sonnet. That's very interesting because usually the reasoning model is going to be placed right here on this menu. So before you're searching anything, you can select the model that you prefer. But uh, maybe because it is hybrid or maybe Perplexity has yet to implement the new feature on the user interface that's why it's not there but i do believe they're going to put this right here in the future and if you want to use that there are multiple ways you can use 3.7 sonnet on perplexity so first you have to click on this gear icon and also you want to uh, navigate to the perplexity pro section and yes right now if you want to switch to a different model you have to enable uh, you have to be in this perplexity pro subscription otherwise you cannot use it and then you can change the model from whatever model that you're currently using to cloud 3.7 sonnet so this is new this is uh, just you know it wasn't there just a few hours ago and i think perplexity is very responsive when it comes to adding new models now let's go back to the home page again and i'm going to ask a question let's say what are the strength of cloud oh sorry about that 3.7 sonnet give me bullet points and table so make sure it's uh, the pro mode and i enable the web search and let's do that and it's going to do some research of course and if you're but if your question are complicated it's actually going to be enabling the reasoning model and it's going to take forever to answer a question in this case it, it doesn't use it doesn't appear to be using the extended version or the reasoning model and that's why the question can be answered very quickly and i think that's really uh, useful for a lot of people that have no idea whether the question has to be answered with a bigger model or should be answered by a smaller model and yeah this is the answer so 
uh, we can see that it is using Cloud 3.7 Sonnet. And you can also, if you want, let's say if you have an existing thread on Perplexity AI and then you want to rewrite the content or the answer using this model, you can click this rewrite button and then you can select Cloud 3.7 Sonnet to recreate the answer again, but we're using a different AI model. So right now, I don't think Perplexity is using all the advancements that are offered by 3.7 Sonnet, but I do think it's still very early and I, I believe that they're going to implement more features in the future. It's going to be uh, much more usable because I actually done some testing on Perplexity and it's not showing you the thinking, the, the chain of thought thinking, like usually if you're using DeepSeek R1 or deep research on perplexity there's going to be some steps right here being explained by ai but even that when, when i'm using the cloud 3.7 sonnet with the with a question that i do believe going to enable the reasoning capability that question or the the step-by-step -step process wasn't shown in perplexity but then again it's still very early i think it's just they need like they need some time to implement the feature i think it's, it's something that they can add in the next few days or so but yeah that's how you can uh, use cloud 3.7 sonnet in perplexity ai so if you find this video to be useful then please consider subscribing to this channel and i'll see you on the next video take care